So then guys, on the horizon, Apple have a new MacBook Air coming out with a new M5 chip inside of Air. But a lot of you guys are wanting to know, will we get a new OLED display? Will we get a new design? Well, today we're gonna cover it off and all the leaks and rumors we've heard about with the next generation of the MacBook Air. But let's just quickly talk about where we are currently with the MacBook Air right now. So we've had the same MacBook Air design now for for three generations. We had the first generation of the current design with the M2 MacBook Air, and this was back in 2022. But a year later, we got a larger brother. We got the 13 inch MacBook Air, very similar design with the M2. And then the year later in 23, at the end of it, we got the M3 chip introduced into it. And then we currently have the M4 MacBook Air, which came out at the end of 2024. Now, the MacBook Air is Apple's most popular MacBook they sell right now. And to be honest, I can't blame them why, because it's absolutely amazing. It is super light and has a fantastic design. It gives you really great performance, and yet you can still pick up one of these for really cheap now. In fact, you can even pick up the M4 MacBook Air for under $800 sometimes on some sales and quite a lot of places actually have it for $850. And with that, you get an M4 chip, you get 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabyte model and the 13 inch design. And this is really, really great value from Apple, what they're offering here. But as we go onwards then onto the next generation of the MacBook Air, you guys are probably to know what is going to change. Well, I can tell you right now that the design of the MacBook Air is probably not going to be changing for the M5 generation. So unfortunately, that does mean that the current design, what well, is still a great design, is going to be staying as it is. You're not gonna get any, any updates there. Now, something else, what that also means is that if you were looking for a new OLED display coming in the next generation of the MacBook Air, no, this will not be happening. And in fact, we've even heard other rumors that we could be getting a different type of LED display before even getting an OLED display put inside of the MacBook Air. And it also means that probably ProMotion is not gonna be coming to the MacBook Air anytime soon. So probably not even with the M5 and potentially even not the M6. So we're gonna have to wait out a little bit longer for the design of the MacBook Air to be updated. But where there are probably gonna be changes is gonna be to do with everything that's going on underneath the MacBook Air. And that includes the M5 chip. So the M5 chip is most likely gonna be very similar to the M4 chip in its cores with one or two little differences. We're probably most likely still gonna get a 10 core CPU. And this will probably be made up with six efficiency cores and four performance cores. Now this will be, as I like to call it, the full fat version of the M5, very similar to the M4, but Apple probably also sell a bin down version and when it's a bin down version they normally sacrifice on GPU cores so right now with the MacBook Air with the M4 the maximum GPU cores you can actually get are 10 GPU cores but there is a bin down version that give you a couple or less but with the M4 five MacBook Air, there is the potential that Apple could actually up the amount of cores this time around. Do remember the last time that Apple increased the amount of GPU cores was when we went from M1 to M2. We had eight cores, then we went up to 10 cores. And we've had 10 cores in M2, M3, and M4. So it makes sense that the M5, if it's going to have an increase in cores, it would be in the GPU cores, and it probably got up to 12 cores. So more than likely we'd have a 12 core GPU, and the bin down version would also also be a 10 core version there. The other things to throw into the mix is that Apple could also add in some of their other special architecture like what they introduced with the A19, the A19 Pro. We could have bigger caches on the efficiency cores and we could also have those new kind of neural kind of cores added to the GPU, what could also help out too with performance wise. Now for things like RAM and storage, things that are looking like they won't change too much with maybe the possibility of storage. And let's talk about that first of all. And that is we've had 256 gigabytes of storage as the lowest amount of storage in this MacBook Air for a long time now. And in 2025, and even if we go into 2026, 256 is not a lot. And Apple could be upping the lowest amount of storage to be 512 gigabytes for the M5 generation. Would be great to actually have out there. This would be the baseline version. 
But then for RAM, I don't think much is going to change here. Do remember just the last generation or even partly through the M3 generation that RAM went up to 16 gigabytes as the baseline amount. So, you know, this is what's probably going to be staying now for a while as the base amount. So you'd probably have the offerings of say 16 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes for a while now. So yeah, just be aware of that too. So then guys, just quickly, I want to tell you about the new channel giveaway we are doing and it is for this right here. It's for a iPhone 17 Pro Max in Cosmic Orange. It's also got 256 gigabytes of storage and it's also got a physical SIM card as well because I know some countries out there, you know, don't take eSIMs just yet. And by the way, that does mean it is an international giveaway that I am doing so anyone can enter in. Now the actual giveaway what we're going to do here is going to be happening in the middle of January 2026 and you can enter in right now. There's only two things you have to do. The first thing is what you can do right now is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get before the end of 2025 or even into early 2026. Put it down into the comments below right now. Now the other thing what you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification notification bell because near mid January time I'll be making a video giving you even more details about the giveaway for this iPhone and you won't want to miss out on that video. So like I said make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because more information about this will be coming out around that time. Now the other thing I just want to quickly say to you guys that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me telling to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message. Please do ignore these people, better see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this then, what about the release date and also the price for the MacBook Air? Well, I think the great news is that probably with the price to begin with, it's probably gonna stay exactly the same. So this means that say the 13 inch baseline model, you can pick it up from Apple right now for 999 US dollars, and this will probably retain the same price right now. And do remember if you're an educator or you know, you're a student, you can pick up 899 US dollars, what is fantastic value, or like before we talked about that if you gave it a month or two later after its release time, then you could probably even pick it up for 850 or even potentially $800 for this MacBook Air. What's really great value. And I think this is gonna be sticking around this time round for the M5 version. Now, the other thing to talk about is obviously the actual release time. Now, do remember we had the release of the M4 MacBook Air and that happened in 2025 and it happened around about March, April time. So more than likely, if we're going to get an upgrade on the MacBook Air, it's not going to be to that in 2026 at the earliest. And the great thing is we have had leaks coming in telling us that it is in the pipeline that Apple are going to bring out new MacBook Airs some point in spring 2026. So that is the target time for the release date of when we're probably gonna get the new MacBook Air. But for those guys you know out there who wanting that new OLED display and things like this, like I said, we're gonna be a few generations until we get that. Do remember, it's not gonna be probably to the end of 2026 or even early 2027 that the MacBook Pros are gonna get this. So yeah, it's gonna be a good few years yet until we get an OLED display put inside the MacBook Air and ProMotion 2. Just think about iPhones there, for example. Remember, the iPhone 17 normal has just got ProMotion, and obviously we've had ProMotion ever since the iPhone 13 models. You get the point. It's gonna be a while yet until you actually get that in an Air model. But really guys, that is the latest and greatest we have on the MacBook Air M5. Are you excited for it? Are you gonna get one? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye bye.